John Jeffers is now. John, practice going extremely well until he got filled in behind the back marker. Yeah, it's quite nice out there. I thought I'd uh, give it the big one around the outside of a back marker and he filled me in, kind of got lost middle of the bend. But no, one practice went well, so we'll see what happens in the race now. Road at Salisbury riding here again today. Is this the start of a full-time comeback for you? Yeah, I was lucky enough. Uh, my mum and dad bought me a new bike this year to ride, so I, want, I had last year off um, for personal reasons and just getting back into it this year. Got uh, the first six meetings of the year booked up. Uh, this is my second, so I just keep going and see what happens. Absolutely cracking lineup here today, isn't it? Yeah, it's not bad. I kind of don't really look at lineup anymore. I just come here to do what I got to do. I want to obviously try and win the meeting, get back in the Masters at the end of the year. So I just come here, do my best, and see what happens at the end of the day. Brand new field that's never been used before. It looks pretty good out there. Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, it is a bit slick today. It's only practice. We'll see what happens in the meeting. And um, obviously, you say striving to get to the Masters at the end of the season. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I haven't come back just to be uh, a number who turns at me and I want to start winning meetings again and do what I did in the youth, which was like pretty much clear up. So it's got to knuckle down for the first part of the season and try and get a guest appearance in the Masters. You had any help with sponsorship for the start of the season? Yeah, um, my old business partner David Broom from Fox's uh, lap dancing club in Swindon, he's uh, spent a lot of money on me. Like I said, my mum and dad have spent a lot of money on me as well. So yeah, very grateful to both of them for their help. Thanks, Sam Wilbur. Great to see you back on the grass. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. David Radley. David, just come back from practice. How did it go out there? Uh, it wasn't too bad. It's, uh, it's a bit slick. It felt like it was uh, spinning up on me a bit. But um, when I got in, I was told it was gripping quite a bit. Um, it's a fast track. I'm open to do well on it today. It looks a track that could produce some quality racing. Oh, definitely, definitely. You'll see a lot of quality racing on it today. Um, I reckon it'll be a bit like the GP yesterday was. A lot of a lot of fighting in it. Definitely a lot of fighting, yeah. An absolute for a club meeting, it's an absolutely fabulous lineup today, isn't it? Oh yeah, there's I mean I looked at the programme before and there's some really fast fellas here. Um I mean I don't know, yeah, it's fast. A lot of people here. Yeah. <laughs> Early part of the season, are you pleased the way things have gone so far? Um I'm not too not not too fussed. Um, I've had a good start. Um I was at Buxton the other week and uh, I mean I didn't have a too good a meeting but um, it's kicking up and get, I'm progressing as it goes which is what we like to see so. And obviously you're looking to get into better meetings, you're travelling farther afield now and improving yourself every week. Yeah, 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 I'm looking to ride against the faster fellas, I mean it's more experience in it and um, I don't just like staying local and it's nice to travel in it and definitely it's different riding styles and stuff so. And talking of Buxton, the track a little bit dodgy, I think, after the snow up there, wasn't it, the other week? Oh, yeah, we were riding in the snow. It was um, it was a different track. It was very different. It was like riding on the ice again. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. We'll just have a good day today. No problem. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thanks, Dave. James Rogers with me now. James made a good start of the season so far. Um, yeah, not bad. Last week was very wet at Worcester. Um, we had two reasonably good heats, but it's so wet with the new engine, we couldn't really try a great deal. So today will be a good test for it. I think it was a credit to all the riders that that meeting actually got as far as what it did, wasn't it? Oh, right, yeah, the credit to everyone, all the riders, solo, side cars, everyone. You know, it was terrible conditions and it was good we got as far as what we did. Have you been able to practice on this track yet? Yeah, had one, one practice. How did it go? Very, very good. Nice track. It's a little bit damp. We don't want no more rain on it. Uh, the bike seems to be going well, so hopefully we sh should have a good, good, good day. I think that's the key factor. The rain will stop away it's a good shaped track to produce some good racing isn't it yes that's right the, the track will produce excellent racing nice size corners um, it's just a question if the rain stays off ambitions for this season do as best as we possibly can we I think we're in the Masters qualifier It'd be nice to get through that and have a good go at the Masters this year we've, we've set out the Masters for the last two or three years for various reasons and uh, this year we'd like to have a good go we've got Damien back in the chair so we'll see how we get on Thanks, Sam Willis. Best luck today. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Sean Chick with me now. Sean, been out for practice. How did it go? Yeah, practice went quite well. Um, it is a little bit slick out there with a lot of grass on the field, but um, I think it'll be all right. It's quite drivey. Needs the rain to keep away, and it should be a good track, shouldn't it? Yeah, if the weather does what it's supposed to. Um, it's, they're talking of it clearing a bit later, so hopefully, fingers crossed. Fabulous entry in your class. It's like a British Championship here today, isn't it? It is. It's um, it's good to see, though, uh, it's, and it's what the sport needs. And um, you know, if everyone has a good, clean sort of day, then everyone's going to be happy. You've got your passenger sorted out now, because obviously you've had missed a couple of meetings with problems with injury for the passenger. Yeah, um, down at uh, Collier Street, uh, Neil uh, cracked a rib, 
Um, and then uh, it decided to fall down a manhole at work, so uh, <laughs> a bit of a problem. So unfortunately we had to miss out on Worcester, but um, yeah, things is coming together. He's, uh, he says he's fit enough, so we'll give it a go. The pleasing thing is that the 500 sidecars have been a little bit thin on the ground in this neck of the woods recently, but a good lineup at Worcester and an even better lineup here again today. So it's good to see the sidecars coming up to the Midlands. Yeah, um, it's a bit of a bit of a trek for us. It's about three and a half hours, you know, for us to come up. But the the thing is, Ledbury always try and put on a good club, a, you know, cl club meeting. Um, so you've got to support them. And obviously, it's better for you guys. And the better the competition, the more you enjoy it, and the better you go. That's right. You, you get uh, very stagnant riding against the same people all the time, day in, you know, week in, week out. So um, the more, the merrier, really. And the pleasing thing is, with a big lineup, you get a final rather than have four point scoring heats. Because the final always adds something to the end of the day, doesn't it? It's something to strive for. That's right. It always uh, gives you a bit of a thrill towards the end of the day, um, and it gives you something to go for, like you say. Thanks, Sam. We'll have a good day today. Thanks a lot. Thank you.
in the act as well. The East Street 3 bus going into that top corner, and Shorty goes between two riders to lead into that top corner for the first time. It's sure to lead it, but Norris going right in second. Morris Jones is on two in the second, and Sarah Shorty in third. And the Six carries in there is in fourth place up to top four. It's sure to lead it, and Jones in second. Dave Norris relegated to the third place. And they go up the back straight once again, and Finlow has got the fourth. As they dive into that top corner on lap number two, with General Shaw, he's got bike problems. General Shaw leading the race, he's got bike problems. Morris Jones there leads, but Dave Norris goes to him. Dave Norris goes to the Jones in second. Finlow is up to fourth. Adam is in fourth, and Stanton in five. John Weasley in six, Ian Griffin in seven. That's the top seven as they go to the back straight once again, and Dave Norris is the clear race leader. Dressed a bit bad luck there on Joel Shaw, who's uh, Lost it while home the lead on lap number two as Norris leads it and Finlow has gone through into second place. It's Jones in third and Morris Jones drops it all over the third place. Then Stanton goes up to third with Dave Hammond in four. Ian Goodrich is in five. John Wheatley in six. That's the top six. They make their at the back straight on lap number three. It's Dave Norris who leads it for the Gary Finlow trying to close the gap in second place. Morris Jones just pushing his bike up the track. As Dave Norris wins the first in the 375, Finlow gets the second. It's going to be tied the third in fourth. Dave Hammond gets shot in for Grim Stanton in the fourth, and Grim Stanton in fourth. Ian Griffith in five, John Wheatley in six. That's the top six with 666, who is addition to the 375. That's Tony George. 666 is Tony George. He's a late addition to the 375. He gets the sixth place. Race two. Pre-75, sponsored by Des Jones Plumbing Services, a win for number 17, Dave Norris. Second, number six, Gary Finlow. And third, 1-2-0, Dave Hammond. 8-1-1, and 31. Winning time, 1 minute 23.66. 1 minute 23.66. Sidecars, just the four efforts coming out that someone's left the line. In fact, they tear the back straight. The first one looks like Lester Goodwin just made the start and lead into that top corner for the first time. It is number three, the former champion Lester Goodwin leads it for Wayne Reed in second place. Sean Arden is pulling away. On the 49, Brian Canning in fourth place. One outfit left on the line at the start there, so they got the back straight once again. It is still Lester Goodwin and Lee. Tony Cookie with his left the line, desperately bad luck. On Tony Cook, that's no so luck in Worcester the other week. And again, trailing on the line, the first of the 500 sidecars. As Goodwin leads it, then the week, Lee trying to close the gap in second half. So they move into that pitch corner on lap number two. Left the Griffith riding in mid track. Rich and Wayne Mitchell are finding a way through on the inside. Sean Harvey trying to close the gap in third. Beast Street pulling away from Brian Canning in fourth. With the unfortunate Tony Cook back in fifth place. They move into that top corner once again. Still good with the lead again. Rides the mid track again. Wayne Lee trying to find a way through on the inside. Harvey getting a little bit closer in third. And they move to the back straight once again. They move to the first three places. As Goodwin still leads it from Reed in second, he's still pulling away from Sean Harvey in third, with Brian Canning in fourth, Tony Cook in five. At the top corner for the final time, it's the former British champion, Lester Goodwin, the road for the winning ride, right. the first is the point for sidecars, second is Wayne Reed, third place goes to Sean Harvey, Brian Canning picks up the four, and Tony Cook is going to be in fifth place. Race 3, sponsored by www.teamgoodwin.co.uk, designed by XDM Websigning.co.uk. A win for number 3, Leicester and Anthony Goodwin. Second, number 56, Wayne Reed and Clive Preston. And third, number 72, Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg. 49, and number 10. 1 minute 22.72 1 minute 22.72 and we go to race 4 
Sponsored by www.barrybennettracing.co.uk Designed again by XBM website. Barry Bennett sponsored the race and he's going to be racing in as race number four. Second heat of the 500 sidecars. Sponsored by Barry Bennett, away they go up the back straight for the first time, looks like Sean Chick the leads into that top corner, bunching up for all the places, Barry Bennett back in fourth place, well on the outside line, might reach on to find a way through on the inside line, in fact it's uh, 1.6 on the more than the lead, that comes on the inside and might reach shoulder to shoulder for second and third with Barry Bennett. In fourth place, they go up the back straight once again. It's still more than a lead. It might lead. Finds a quick line to on the inside. Close up in second place. Barry Bennett looking back to third place. Sean Chick goes from second to fourth. As they race into that top corner once again, this Morgan going wide might lead. Trying to get through on the inside. Line. They lock together. From second and might lead. Find a way through on the inside. Morgan trying to get back around the outside. Barry Bennett dies for the inside. Goes through from the second place. So Mike Reed's gone through from third to first, so Barry Bennett going from fourth to second, and that's the one two as they go in that top corner on lap number three. It's Mike with leads it from Barry Bennett in second. Alan Morgan in third, now coming in the second, and second, Sean Jackson has gone through in the third place, so Alan Morgan has gone from third to fourth, he's back to third again, back round the edge of Sean Chicken up this corner, Chick comes again back up the inside to retake the third place position, as Mike Reed leads it from Barry Bennett in second, it's Sean Chick in third, with Alan Morgan in fourth, the checkered flag out then, it's a win for Mike Reed, second is Barry Bennett, third place goes to Sean Chick, fourth place it's Alan Morgan. Super action again in race number four, sponsored by BarryBennettRacing.com. A win for number 57, Mike Reed and Mark Hopkins. Second number seven, Barry Bennett and Ivan Hughes. And third number six, Sean Chick and Neil Pocknell. Fourth, 1.56. Winning time, 1 minute 23.16. 1 minute 23.16. That crucial zone. Look if Tony starts, made a good start, but he's been passed. Looks like he's got fans and gone through to lead into that top corner for the first time. And Tony Stark holding the second place, which they bunch up coming up that top corner. But it's Scott Francis and Paul Fisher lead from Tony Stark in second place. Number 21, Bradley back in third. They go in that pit corner for the first time then. Francis leads it from Stark in second. Bradley back in third. Richard in fourth. It's um, Day Biggers in five. That's the five. They go in that top turn once again. It's Francis Fisher, Edith and Stark in second place. Nick Bradley trying to close the gap in that third place position. Continuing through that, still Francis leads it with Stark in second. Bradley just getting close to the third. He's been pulling away from Richardson third with Higgins in five and Tony Stark making a move for me into Scott Francis. Scott Francis back round the outside, still fraction between these two. They're locked absolutely shoulder to shoulder going into that top corner. It's still Tony Stark, just more balance on the inside line. Scott Francis trying to get back inside Tony Stark. Conservation Services, the sponsors. A win for number 23, Tony Stark, and whoever his passenger may be. Second, number 69, Scott Francis and Paul Fisher. And third, number 21, Nick Bradley, Craig Matheson. Then one, four, three, and number five. Time one minute twenty two point three eight. One minute twenty two point three eight. 
race number six on the program. Take a look at they on that top left side. Morris Jones got the second place with Paul Evitz leading into that top corner. Paul, oh, and Morris Jones has dropped it. He dropped it in the 375s and somebody's going to have got problems on that top corner. Three riders have gone down. Morris Jones will unfortunately drop it in the heat for the 375. has dropped it again in the hub rights and two riders seem to collect him on that first corner. Let's hope everybody is okay. The last thing we want are accidents for something. We don't want accidents at any time, but uh, let's hope they are going to be okay. I see Morris, who was going so well in the pre 75s dropped it on the exit to that corner and now drops it on the entry to that corner in race number six, the first heat of the uprights. It looks as if they've had to carry it by lifting the front wheel up to get his bike, so that doesn't look to be too good there for Dave's machine, but thankfully Dave is okay. Right race, there's Paul Everett to lead the back straight the first time, it's like Ian Guthridge in second with uh, Mark Scalding in third, that's the top three to go. It's that top corner for the first time, Paul Everett to clear leader from. Second, Mark Scalding in third place. The have not made the restart, because Pat Davis has not come out for the restart of the race number six either, so just the three runners in a rather depleted lineup for the first heat of the uprights. But it's Paul Evans who leads. They come to complete lap number two. Looks behind him. He's got a good lead over Ian Guthrie in second place with Mike Scalding in third. Up the back straight then goes Paul Evans, your race leader. Well clear of the Ian Guthrie in second. Mike Scalding in third place. <laughs> Negotiating this top corner and on to uh, start lap four this time then. It is Paul Evans, well clear of Ian Guthrie in second. The wide riding one scouting in the third place position. As the race leader of the back straight for the final time in this restarted race number six of this massive race program here at Ledbury this afternoon. And Paul Evans coast out of that final corner. Paul Evans wins restarted race number six. Second is Ian Guthridge. Third place goes to Mike Scalding. Race 6, a win for number 106, Paul Evans. Second, number 174, Ian Gutteridge. And third, 143, Mike Scalding. Winning time, 1 minute 26.84. 1 minute 26.84. Race 7, the upright second inch tyres from Hereford Tyres on the sponsors. John Pepper number 3 is a non-starter. Sponsors away they got the back straight for the first time then. Somebody making a move around the outside with Prime pick up the numbers they come in view for the uh, first time. It is number 11, that's Neil Coach taking lead and then Prime. 28 on pressure in second place. 469, Steve George has gone through into third. Kim Gatrix trying to work his way to the field, he's gone through into fourth place as Coach take his clear at the back straight for the second time, with Fletcher in second place. That's the lead in three as they come by to complete lap two then. Cope State is the leader, Tom Fletcher in second. Then we have Graham Godbers now gone for the third. Ian Goodfish is in four. 666 six, six, Tony George is in five. 
There'll be one in six and four, six, nine in seventh place. Up to seven. There's Coke State clear going back, back straight on lap number three. Graham Grodman moving to position to challenge for that second place position as Coke State leads him on the four then. From Fletcher in second with Graham Goldman definitely closed the gap in third. Chris Grayson looking for that fourth place that goes to one in 666. Tony George goes through the fourth place. As Neil Cope stays absolutely storming away the front two. Bob Fletcher in second with Graham Goldman again trying to close the gap in third. That's the lead in three as number 11 Neil Cope State comes to the win race number seven. It's going to be tight for second and third but it's just Bob Fletcher. From Graham Godwin, then 666 Tony George, and 133 Kim Greatrix, and they're followed by number 31 Edward Davis. Race 7 upright, sponsored by Tyres from Hereford Tyres, a win for number 11 Neil Coke State. Second, number 28 Bob Fletcher, and third, 110 Graham Godwin. 666. 133 and 31. 1 minute 26.79. 1 minute 26.79. Race 8, 350. Enviro Shed Confidential. Documents Reading Services are the sponsors. Number eight riding on in the 350, not the 500. They got the back foot as though Barry Powell was going to lead him into that top corner. Lee Street on the 350 is in second place. Lee Gain making a move around the outside of that top corner. Four coming out of that top corner. And it's Lee Gain to go through the first. Barry Powell again back, steps back to the interlude. Lee Gain, the little bit of back straight on lap number two. Powell leads to Ben Gain, who's going up in second place. Definitely bad luck there on Lee Gain, that got through the leading position as bike problems on lap number two then. As it is, Barry Powell leads the least good on board of 350 stop in second place. Johnson, who this leads is in third, with 187 in fourth place. As they go on the back straight once again then, Barry Powell is well to the front from Lee Street in second place. John Sims has got the fourth place, and it has gone through into fifth place position. That's the top five, as Powell leads them on to four then, Lee Street still holding that second place. 187 then we've got number three. One eight oh and twenty four. Jody Hompton in five, Meredith in six, up to six, 
As they go to the back straight, once again, Charlie Saunders running away from Bob Bowman. As they go to the back straight, on a lap number four, Bob Bowman trying to close the gap. As they enter that top corner, for the final time in race number nine, but it's going to be a race win for number 25, Charlie Saunders. He wins it. Second number 16, Bob Bowman. Paul Derrick picks up the third. Al Martin is in four. Jack Meredith has gone through to fifth with Jody Hodgson in sixth place. Right, back to race eight, the result of race eight. To win for number 82, Barry Powell. Second number 75, Lee Street. And third, 187. If somebody can tell us who 187 is, please, we would appreciate it. Then 68. 171. 3. 180. And 24. Winning time, 1 minute 16.69, 1 minute 16.69, race 9, the race you've just seen, sponsored by Owen Brothers Commercials, a win for number 25, Charlie Saunders, second number six, 16, Bob Dolman, and third, 117, Paul Derrick, 30, 222, 461, Winning time, 1 minute 16.90, 1 minute 16.90. And we go on to the 1,000cc sidecars, first team, race 10, sponsored by Passion for Iron. Day by Mrs. Passengers, Rob uh, Hayes, Hazelwood, and said Skinner is passengered by John Skinner on the line. Away they go. Looks like Paul White has made a good start from the middle of the grid. Paul White is in the Number 14, James Rogers is in second place. 44, Paul Downs in third. That's the top three. Ben Skinner's in fourth. And we've got uh, Mr. Partridge, 514, in place of Andy Cosser in this one. is left at the line there and in sixth place at the moment. Fred's going to make it a move through into the third place mission. That's Paul White and Lee, they're going to go to the same end. Shane Rogers in second place. Fred Skinner's up the third. Paul Downs is in four. Bennett in five. Partridge in six. And the leader Paul White is going to back straight once again then. Rogers trying to close the gap in second place. These two pulling away from Fred and John Skinner in third. And Rogers definitely starting to close the gap on Paul White. Number three, where in the chair. James Rogers in second place and trying to close the gap there. It's still Fred and John Skinner in third. Paul Downs holds the third place of Scott Lipton in the chair. Down the back straight they go once again. It's still Whiteman and Whale who lead it then. Fred Rogers and Damien James in second in the chair in the second sidecar. On to lap four then. Paul Rogers in second place. He's too clear of Fred and John Skinner in third. As they go to the back straight, Paul Lee for the time. James Rogers definitely closed the gap on the entry to that top corner. What's these two outfits going to the back straight? Paul Lee for the time. Paul Wright and clear James Rogers trying to close the gap on the entry to that pitch corner on lap number four. James Rogers making a move coming out that lap final corner. And Paul Wright wins it from James Rogers in second place. It's going to be Fred and John Skinner to pick up the third. Paul Downs now coming under pressure from Dave Bevis. That's crap for. Uh, Race 10, sponsored by Passion for Iron, a win for number 92, Paul White, Lemony in Wales. Second number 14, James Rogers and Damien James. And third, 228, Fred and John Skinner. And 514, 44, and 101. Winning time, 1 minute 30.87, 1 minute 30.87, and obviously 514 came in to replace Number 73, Andy Carter in Vince Kitchen. Number 11 sponsored by Home Alarms. Everybody makes a good stop. It's been a little made a good stop. Mark Costa's got one in front of him. They're in fourth. They go in that top corner for the first time then. 
Lloyd, Lofter to Mark Costa, Mark Costa's in the front, they go in the back straight, the first on to Lloyd, coming under pressure, Matt Formal over Andy Wilson, left on the line, they've got a lot to do again, the scoring position would have to make him a dreadful start, then the second he did beat Bowser, Susie Sidecar, as Costa leads it to Lloyd in second, it's Costa in the third, Lloyd in fourth, Formal over in fourth, in that top corner once again, Mark Costa, Hayden Ben holding the inside line, Peter Lloyd, Terry Madley, trying to find the race around the end, Tony Chip pulling away, then John Hiscock in third, with Stephen Bly in third, Matt Formal, Andy Wilson in five, but they slide out of that pitch corner, and Mark Costa has gone really right, Peter Lloyd holding the inside line, trying to close the gap in the second of the thousand sidecar, then Costa leads it then, Peter Lloyd in second, Hiscock in third, Bly is in fourth, Formal in five, as they go to the back straight once again, Peter Lloyd trying to close that gap on Mark Costa, they hit that pitch corner on lap number three, and Mark Costa again slides it wide, Peter Lloyd again comes to the inside, Peter Lloyd gets the drive coming up the corner, but Mark Costa is pushing it and he's about to bring him through the side, into that top corner on lap number four, Costa leads it, to Lloyd in second, his clock in third, Lloyd looking at third place of this cup, and Peter Lloyd making a move for him into Mark Costa, has gone too wide on that top corner, Mark Costa again back round the outside, he's gone wide again, Peter Lloyd comes to the inside, Superb side car action, Peter Lloyd gets the lead. Mark Costa gets the second, John Hiscock in third, Steph Lloyd in fourth, Matt Formarola in fifth place. Superb side car action there in race number 11. Mark Costa was gliding wide on all the corners and Peter Lloyd eventually found the way through on the inside. Great race in race 11. Super action in race 11, sponsored by Home, Alone, Home Alarms of Gloucester. A win for number four, Peter Lloyd in Terry Madley. Second, number 37, Mark Costa and Hayden Bend. And third, 184, John Hiscock with Gareth Beerminster in the chair. 30, and number five. Winning time, 1 minute 34.81. 1 minute 34.81. John Jeffries has made a cracking start and looks like Andrew Appleton has gone by and the lead at the back straight Bradley Clyde has got the third with different ends in four that's the top four they dive into that top corner for the first time it's Andrew Appleton leads up and John Jeffries second Bradley Clyde is third different ends in four way Five, that's the top five, they're going to back straight once again. Good to see John Hammond back in this one after crashing in the up five. It's Andrew Appleton and of John Jeffers in second place. Bradley Kite's going up in third. Coming under tremendous pressure there from Wayne Borders, who's gone through into third place. As Appleton leads them, Jeffers in second. Borders up to third, Jeffers in third. Bradley Kite's beat in second, drop back to sixth place. They're racing to that top corner once again. Bradley Kite is going to the it is still an Andrew Appleton, well clear the front from John Jeffers in second place. These two pulling away from Wayne Borders in third. Different Evans in fourth, John Wiggs in five. Bradley Clyde just back to six, that's the top six. As Andrew Appleton already in amongst the back mark as they go about back straight once again. Appleton leads it, Jeffers trying to close the gap in second. These two a long way clear of Wayne Borders in third. Different Evans in fourth, John Wiggs in five. Bradley Clyde in six, Dave Hammond in seven. Thomas is in eight. As Andrew Appleton picks up the winning line, second is John Jeffers. We look back to the third place rider, should be combat man Wayne Borders, rider number 158, Wayne Borders gets the third, from Dippin Evans in four, John Weeks in five, Bradley Kite is in six, Dave Hammond is in seventh, Mr Thomas in eighth place. Well, race 12 result then, sponsored by andrewappleton.com, andrewappleton.co.uk, designed by XDM websites. A win for number four, Andrew Appleton. Second, number 14, John Jeffries. And third, number 158, Wayne Broadhurst. 111, 46, 495, 120, 185, 555. Winning time, 1 minute 11.43. 1 minute 11. Point four three. Race thirteen.
www.richardsmithracing.co Again, designed by XDM. So a ragged start for race number 13, that will be stopped and restarted. Back in the line, the race number 13, everybody gets away this time, Richard Smith has made a good start of so Stephen Taylor chased him up that back straight with Darren Pugh in third, Daniel Winton's gone through to fourth and Darren Pugh's gone through into second place and Richard Smith leads the Cumbers the first time, with Darren Pugh in second, Daniel Winton in third, Stephen Taylor in third. Absolutely storming away the front to that good scrap along for second and third. And Darren Pugh has just about got the measure of Daniel Woods at the moment. The Smith leads him on to four then. Tom Pugh in second, Richardson in third. Taylor is in four. Woodson would have gone through the five. Tommy Crew in six, Thomas in seven. Mount Shimon eight, Deb Silver top eight. And they race on the back straight once again then. It is still Richard Smith coasting at the front. Checkered flag out then. We've lost seen Richard Smith wins it, and Darren Pugh in second place, Daniel Winston in third, Stephen Taylor is in four, Tommy Crew in five, Bobby Graham in six, and Rob Malcolm in seventh place. Race 13, sponsored by www.richardsmithracing, a win for number 30, one, 33, right, Colin, Richard Smith. Second, 711, Darren Pugh. And third, number 12, Daniel Winterton. 23, 18, 131, 91, 186. Winning time, 1 minute 15.87. 1 minute 15.87. Race 14, the Barons Crossing at Leominster are the sponsors for race number 14. Solo action. Looks like Martin Williams at Leeds going up the back straight. Tim Connock looking to go through into that second place position. Martin Williams is a clear race leader. They come to complete lap number one then. From Tim Connock in second place. One more turn and four going down number two into second place. So Williams leads it, but Derek is second. Connock is in third. That's the leading speed. They go up the back straight. Once again, yellow flags out. Somebody's dropped in the middle of the track on that pitch corner. We've got yellow flags out as Martin Williams. Continues to lead, race number 14 for the wide riding, Paul Derrick just hanging on to that second place, Tim Kurlock look at that second place and goes through, into second place, 606 Andy Carfield is in fourth, Mike Gosling is in five, good scraps and on for second and fourth between Tim Kurlock and Paul Derrick as Martin Williams continues to increase his lead at the front, it's Martin Williams who leads on the lap for them, from Tim Kurlock in second place, Paul Derrick is in third. Andy Carfield is in four, that's the top four, getting a little bit spread out there in race number 14, then Cookson is in five, Mike Gosling in six, in three nine, Neil Bizzler is in seven, that's the seven, as we see Martin Williams come off that final corner and win race number 14, Martin Williams wins it. Should be tight for second and third, Tim Kernock gets the second, Paul Derrick is in third, 6.06 in four. 
Then for about four two one John Cooks and then Neil Good and then Mike Godwin and four one eight Chris Salisbury. Race 14, the Barons Crossing at Lemster are the sponsors, and it's a win for 125, Martin Williams. Second, 726, Tim Kernock. And third, 117, Paul Derrick. 606, 421, 139, 24, and 418. Winning time, 1 minute 16.84, 1 minute 16.84, race 15 of the heat of the 500, www.timnervesracing.co.uk, again designed by XDM website. Again for race number 15. All that clear across the grid away they go. Who's going to make that final authority? Paul Cooper towards Jensen has made a good start. Tim Rose on the inside trying to work his way to third. Mark Chilman holds his third place but loses that third place as Paul Cooper leads into that top pull of Tim Rose has got the second place. He's got the right there. That's the top six. As Cooper Lee's can pull up two then from Nelson in second. It's still in two with Truman in four. Kinchin in five. Nice in six. Bradley in seven. Mark Taylor way back in eighth place. That's a bit of a surprise for Mark Taylor. So far back for third as Paul Cooper continues to lead going up that back straight. Tim Nelson is in second place. He's got two riders gone down over on that pit corner. As Cooper Lee's are on the four then from Nelson in second. It's Truman in third. Truman in fourth. Kinchin in five. Taylor with the six, from 1970, what a crack in it, and Paul Cooper has come to a stop, Paul Cooper has come to a stop on the last lap, he led into that pit corner, but Paul Cooper's got problems on that final corner, and it needs a clear now for Tim Nobbs, so number 22, Tim Nobbs wins the dramatic heat, number 15, Vince Kinchin's work is going through in the second, Mark Chamberlain in fourth, Mark Taylor in fourth, then we've got Richard Knight, we've got Dave Dillon with five problems, he was holding third place, He's going to have to push across the line to get some points. David Rodley passes Dave Dillon, so it all happened there in that one. Paul Cooper got the race at his mercy, and his bike forward on the last lap. Dave Dillon got the third place. He's had problems on the last corner. So there are all sorts of drama there for riders, and a very eventful race 15. What a cracking heat that was, race 15. That lineup was as good as many finals. A win for number 22 there, Tim Nobes. Second number eight, Vince Kinchin. And third, number 58, Mark Chilman. 170. 72. 51. 47. And 34. Winning time, 1 minute 14.11. 1 minute 14.11. You can see Dave Durham frantically working on his bike in front of us. And desperately bad luck there on Paul Cooper going out in that third lap. But what a heat. It's only a club meeting, but that heat would have, would have graced many a final at a big meeting, and that was only a heat in this super entry gathered by the Ledby Club for this afternoon's meeting. Jim Collins has gone with him, James Charles, also the action, Mark Evans holds the fourth place, they go in that top corner, 
Corby first on as Charles does get on the inside, Collins, round the outside, Charles, it's a bit of a bump there, goes right, Charlie Saunders takes a long way round the outside of that top third corner, that's Charles Rupert and Collins is second, everything first, Saunders begins for that's the top four, they get him, Jim Collins has gone really wide, right. he's gone for them first to third, as Charles leads at the back straight on lap number two, from the, Evans has gone for the second, Collins in third, Charlie Saunders in third, that's the top four, a bunch of again on that top ten on lap number two, with James Charles made a tremendous start this 2016 will lose it. Tom Evans in second, Collins in third, Thomas is in fourth place. 37 is in fifth, that's Paul Rogers in fifth place, they go up the back straight once again, then Charles, time to look over his shoulder. He's going to go to over Evans in second, it's Collins in third, Charlie Saunders winning the third seat of 250 is back in fourth place this time then, as Charles leads him on the last lap then, from Evans in second, Collins in third, Saunders in third, Rogers is in fine. Shane Howells in fifth, Matt Class in seventh, Frank Yates in eighth, that's the top eight. As they go up the back straight once again, it's still James Charles with a clear lead. And now Charlie Saunders going ahead of Jim Collins to move through into the third place position. As number 17, James Charles picks up the winning words, the second is the two fifties. And Mark Evans in second, Charlie Saunders in third, Jim Collins in four, Rogers is in five. It's going to be tight for six and seven. Matt Class and Shane Howell, shoulder to shoulder, then Frank Yates. And finally, number 26, Mick Parton. Race 16 then, a win for number 97, James Child. Second, 181, Mark Evans. And third, number 25, Charlie Saunders. 205, 37, 176, 196, 41, 26, and 21. Winning time, 1 minute 25.59, 1 minute 25.59. Then Stanton making a good start, looks like Gary Finlow has gone with him. That's the leading two as they got the back straight. For the first time, Dave Norris has been left to the line. He's right at the back of the field at the moment. And strange to see Dave Norris right back there. But it's a wide riding glimpse. Stanton leads it. Gary Finlow gets thrown on the inside of the lead. Stanton in second place. Kenny Bay in third. Ian Griffith in fourth. John Wheat the inside. 4 1 1. Dave Bowie is in sixth. That's the top six. And Dave Norris for the sixth standing bike. Right at the back then. That's Gary Finlow leads into that top corner. Glimpse Stanton in fourth. 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 As Gary Finlow leads into that top corner, Glenn Stanton trying to close the gap in second place. Kenny Blaine has got the third, with Ian Griffiths trying to make a move on the outside of that top corner to get that first place. As Finlow leads it, Glenn Stanton in second, Blaine in third, Griffiths in four, Wheatley is in five. Curry in six, that's still the top six. As they go up the back straight once again, Finlow starts increasingly. Glenn Stanton trying to close the gap, and Kenny Blaine's going out with six right now, to load Ian Griffiths into that third place position as Finlow leads it from Stanton in second Griffith in third, Wheatley in four on to lap four this time then as Gary Finlow leads up the back straight for the final time but Glenn Stanton still holding that second place a wide riding in Griffith in third John Wheatley in four, there is no up to five 131 is 31 and the day this is in sixth place as he should have raced later coming out of that final corner Gary Finlow wins it from Glenn Stanton in second, it's Ian Goodfrey to pick up the first place position. John Wheatley gets the four. Dave Burry comes across the line in five. Edward Davis in sixth place, Glenn Stanton third. Dave Norris still coaching round with that six bike. And gets the next place, followed by number 20. A win for number six, Gary Finlow. Second, 811, Glyn Stanton. And third, 174, Ian Gutteridge. 19, 411, 31, 17, and two, and number 20. 1 minute, 24.31. 1 minute, 24.31, the winning time. <laughs> Eight 
18 on the line then, six across, oh, Dan Diggins raises the start, gets the front wheel down, he's left on the line it looks like, Lester Goodman's going to lead him up the back front again, with his Sean Harvey in second place, Scott Francis, Paul Fisher holds the third, that's the top three as they come to the complete, the opening the, uh, the lap then, it's Lester Goodman leads it from Sean Harvey in second, Scott Francis and they go on their back straight once again Goodwin leads you with Harvey trying to close the gap in second place these two pulling away from France and Fisher in third with Cook in third they move into that top corner once again and Lester Goodwin around the mid-track Sean Harvey trying to come for Harvey into the first and together they can take that two the third of the champion of 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 the third of
second number seven, Barry Bennett, Knife in Hughes. And third number 23, Tony Stark. 156, 143. 1 minute 29.01. 1 minute 29.01. very well indeed to get the front with another one the reeds has lifted the start i think it's wayne reed has lifted the start as mike reed leads into that top corner wayne reed is in second place sean chick in third that's the top three and it is mike reed who leads wayne reed lifts out of the start he's trying to come inside the start this corner for the second time then mike reed leads it to wayne reed in second place sean chick is in third the tongs have picked up the fourth place they got the back straight once again then Mike Reed just out of Wayne Reed. Sean Chick closed the gap with every turn the wheel. Virtually three of best going in to that top corner. Mike Reed on the inside. Wayne Reed trying to come right round the outside. Sean Chick dies to the inside. Wayne Reed that one and two. Wayne Reed that big corner once again. Picking third for Tom's dropping back in fourth place. And then got the back straight once again. Then Mike Reed from Wayne Reed. You can see the gap being closed by Wayne Reed in second place. They're pulling away from Sean Chicken Pitt again. Mike Reed on the inside. Wayne Reed again trying to come right round the outside. He's still bite between them as they move on to lap three. Mike Reed taking the inside line all the way around this track. Forcing Sun Wayne to go right round the outside of the one position. Wayne's gone right. Cuts back to the inside. And Mike Reed is pulled away a little bit as they got the back straight for the final time in this. Race number 19 in the heat of the 500 side goes Mike Reed again. Well on the inside, Wayne Reed gives it everything round the outside. But Mike Reed wins it from Wayne Reed in second. Sean Chick at the, gets the third and the Toms is in. Fourth place. Race 20, sponsored by Martin and Co. Lettings. A win for number 57, Mike Reed and Mark Hopkins. Second number 56, Wayne Reed and Clyde Preston. And third number 6, Sean Chick and Neil Pocknell. Four, number 88. Winning time, 1 minute 22.21. 1 minute 22.21. Race 21 then. The uptight start of their second leg. Dead Jones Plumbing Services are the sponsors. Here we go then with race number 21, looks a little bit of a depleted lineup in race number 21, of course this is the race we have the accidents in, in the first looks like number 11, Neil Coke State, that leads them in to that uh, top corner. Takes a wide line, a really wide line to Neil Coke State, and Graham Godwin hits the front with Neil Coke State. Second place, 666, Johnny George in third. And 31 Edward Davis in fourth place. Just the uh, four runners, they got the back straight once again then. Graham Goblin leads it. Neil Cope stays on his shoulder now as they go into that uh, top turn on lap number two. Goblin holding the inside line. Cope State goes for the inside. Goblin turn to go wide. Cope State cuts back for the inside. These two locked together. And Cope State gets the front. And Goblin in second place. So Tony George in third. And the Davis in fourth. And uh, Neil Cope State looks behind him. He's got problems while at the front in this uh, race number 21. That's how Graham Goblin did. Race on at the front from Neil Coates. They got going again in second place. Still Tony George in third. Edward Davis in fourth as the last lap flag out then for Graham Godwin. Clear of Neil Coates in second. Tony George in third. Edward Davis holds the fourth place. A little bit spread out now in race number 21 as Graham Godwin clear going on that back straight for the final time. Still Neil Coates trying to close the gap in second. These two pulling away from Tony George in third with Edward Davis. In the fourth place position, check and flag out. 
four, one one oh, Graham Godwin. Second is number eleven, Neil Kosey. Third, six six six, Tony George. And fourth, number thirty one, Edward Davis. Race 21, sponsored by Des Jones Plumbing Services, the win for 110, Graham Godwin. Second number 11, Neil Copestate. And third, 666, Tony George. Fourth, number 31. Winning time, 1 minute 29.46. 1 minute 29.46. Sponsored by RGS Moss MOT Centre. Away they go. Looks like Paul Everton leads into that top point. Mike Scalding has gone through in the second place. He's in good pitch. Trying to work his way to third. He's about fifth place at the moment as Paul Everton is the race leader as they come to complete the overhand from Mike Scalding in second. And third. 469 to four. Here's the good point. Bob Fletcher is in sixth. Kim Greatrix in 8th place as the leader Paul Evans clear going up that back straight once again. Ron Mike Scaldi in 2nd place, Ian Goodrich worked his way to the field. Andy Tissot dropping back to the field, has gone through from 3rd to 6th place as Paul Evans continues to be the leader of Mike Scaldi. He's all in the 2nd place, pushing at 3rd, that's the 3rd, 4th and 5th. And it's Ian Goodrich on to the third with Ben Fletcher in 4, Andy Tissot in 5, 4, 6, 9, Steve George in 6, that's the 6. As Paul Evans continues to increase the lead of the front over Mike Scalding in second place. Ian Goodrich in third, Bob Fletcher in four, Andy Tissell is in five. That's the top five. As Evans leads him on the four then for a wide ride of Mike Scalding over that second place. Ian Goodrich got the third, but Bob Fletcher in four, Andy Tissell is in five, Stephen George in six. Four, one, one, Stephen George is in seven. That's the top seven as you see the race leader who is Paul Evans into that final corner with a big lead. Over Mike Scalding and 106 Paul Evans wins race number 22. Mike Scalding gets the second place and be tied to third and four. Ian Goodrich gets the third. Bob Fletcher is in four. Andy Thistle in five. Then four and one day Burry, then 133 Jim Greatrix. Race 22, sponsored by Archie Moss MOT Centre. A win for 106 Paul Evans. Second, 143, Mike Scalding. And third, 174, Ian Gutteridge. 28, 175, 411, and 133. Winning time, 1 minute 21.60. 1 minute 21.60. Delete 351, Adrian McClure, put in number 68, John Sims, in race number 23. Where well, we go then with race number 23? See Lee Street on, Lucy Rides at 3, put number 2, but he leads going into that top where Barry Powell has gone through. Into the second place position, John Sims holding fourth place to go into the top corner for the first time. It's Lee Street, the ran into the position. Barry Powell in second. One John Sims on the four. Rob well, is in five. That's the five as they go on the back straight. Once again, Lee Street goes wide. And Barry Powell hits the front. They drive into that top corner once again. Barry Powell holding the inside line. He drifts in wide. Coming out of that top corner, Lee Street cuts back for the inside. The Powell leads it for the in second. 187 is in third. John Sims in four. John Weeks in five. Rob Stays in six. Paul Derrick is in seven. That's the top seven as they go up the back straight once again. Powell pulling away the front. Front Street in second. Now John Sims looking for that third place of 187 as they race on to lap four this time then. Powell Legion then taking second, 187 in third, John Sims in four, Weeks in five, Derrick in six, Derrick one is in seven. That's the top seven, they go into the middle down the back straight, Kirby, some more time, it's Barry Powell looking to pick up another heat win in the heat of the 350 solos. And it is number 82, Barry Powell that wins the seat of the 350s. Tom Lee Street in second place. 
Second number 75, Lee Street, and we think what looks like 187 is in fact 182, so that's Chris Still in third place. And 68, 117, 39, 180, winning time 1 minute 16.53, 1 minute 16.53. Coming into line then for race number 24 then. Looks a little bit depleted on numbers. Charlie Sean has made a good start and he's in second place. They've got the back straight for the first time. We see Lee Gaiden making a move on the outside. I'll be leading right. Looks to be Bob Dormer leads into that top corner. Lee Gaiden making a move around the outside. Lee Gaiden's alongside Bob Dormer. Lee Gaiden leads to Bob Dormer in second. Charlie Thornton third, and the three four, Jody Hodgson in five, up to five, they've got the back straight, all locked up, and that's number two, Bob Dorman holds the inside line, I think they are the chain come off there on the exit, from that top corner, so bad luck on Bob Dorman, we're pushing off, the lady's got bike problems, in the seat of the three fifties, leads it clear now for Lee Gates, clear of Charlie Thornton in second place, Andrew Whittaker in third, Jody Hodgson is in four, they go off the back straight, one thing again, Lee Gaiden well clear then from Charlie Thorns in second place. A wide running Andrew Whitaker's got the third with Jody Hodson in fourth place. Bad luck on Bob Dorman well battling it out to Lee but on that second lap as Lee Gaiden leads them on to four. Needs the points and mechanical problems in the first heat. Still Charlie Saunders in second place after a busy afternoon riding in two class in this afternoon. Andrew Whitaker in third, Jody Hodson holds the fourth place. They got the back straight for the final time in race number 24. Another heat of the 350 solos. And it's Lee Gaiden that picks up crucial points in race 24. Second is Charlie Saunders. We look back there for Andrew Whitaker who should come across the line in third place with Jody Hodson in fourth place. Race 24. Eight of the 350s, sponsored by RTS Racing Products, a win for 116, Lee Gaiden. Second number 25, Charlie Saunders. And third, 171, Andrew Whitaker. Fourth, 222. Winning time, 1 minute 16.97. 1 minute 16.97. Gareth Beerminster is the passenger for John Hiscock. Outfits on the line then for race 25. Away we go, looks like everybody's going away this time. Ryan Parker, you have come in for the missing copter. There's John Hiscock, the missing copter. Peter Lloyd in four, Fred Skinner is in five as they go, then the back straight for the first time. John Hiscock holds it for Matt Formwell in second place, needs to score heavily. And a disappointing only run right? Matt Formwell against Rollins of John Hiscock and leads into that pitch corner for the first time. Formwell goes wide, Hiscock cuts back for the end, so they're together, they can the over. Back straight then for the final time. Hiscock in second. 
and Blythe's getting a little bit closer in third as they race out of that pitch corner for the full time in race number 25 Matt Thurber over Andy Hills to win race 25 second is John Hitchcock, third is Stephen Blythe fourth place goes to Fred Skinner, fifth place is Ryan Parker Race 25, www.ledbymcc.co.uk for all the latest news and results from the Ledby Club with the sponsors of Race 25, which results in the win for number 5, Matt Formarola and Andy Wilson. Second, 184, John Hiscock and Gareth Beerminster. And third, number 30, Steph Bly and Jason Gill. 228, 514. Winning time, 1 minute 30.62, 1 minute 30.62. Race 26 comes into line then, another heat of a thousand cc side cars. Everybody gets away from number 44, lifts out of the start, we'll see if they come by at the first time, Paul White, Dave Rogers, in second place, Mark Costas, third four downs, is in four, Bevis in five, and Rogers trying to find a way from the into White, number White, and pulls away, going to the back straight, for the first time, Rogers in second, Costa is in third, Downs in four, Bevis in five, that's the five, they come by to complete the only lap in Paul White, James was just trying to close the gap there in second place. These two pulling away from Mark Costa and Hayden Bend in third. Pull down Scott Goodridge in four. They're going to the back straight once again then. It's still white and elated. But uh, James Rogers definitely again looking to try and close the gap in second place. Paul White them goes wide. James Rogers comes for the inside. There they get in there as they move on to that two. On the inside of Paul White just to put a line back there on the outside. As White and elated from Rogers in second place. They go to the back straight once again. The power of Whiteman sees him pull away, going to the back straight. The Rogers again will probably close on the entry to that pitch corner. Closes again. Again he's making another this time round the outside line. Goes wide, cuts back for the inside. That's right, Right the middle, right the second. Costa in third, Downs is still in four, with Bevis in five as the leader down the back straight then for the final times. It's Paul White, the middle world, pulling away from James Rogers in second place. Mark Costa, Hayden, Ben can consolidate that fourth place position as Paul White has come to the win race. Paul White wins it, James Rogers gets the second, hey, Mark Costa gets the third. We look back for Paul Downs to come across the line in fourth. We have Dave Bevis in fifth place. Race 26 then, www.ledbymcc.co.uk. The sponsors are winter number 92, Paul White, Lemon in Wales. Second number 14, James Rogers and Damien James. And third, number 37, Mark Cossa and Hayden Bend. 44 and 101. Winning time, 1 minute 28.93. 1 minute 28.93. Coming into the on end for race number 27, the start of the second leg of the 500 solo. Shane Howells, Double Glazing, are the sponsor of race 27. Yeah. Engines running curiously, everybody gets away. Martin Williams has made a good start, lead at the back straight for the first time. Daniel Winston holds the second place, looks like Mark Taylor in third. Richard Knight on the shoulder of Mark Taylor, strapping it out for that third place position as Martin Williams leads. They come to complete the open end, but Daniel Winston is second. Mark Taylor, Richard Knight is four, Wayne Gordon five, Jim Kernock six, Thomas in seven. 
Number the eight, that's the eight is Martin Williams. Greens are back straight to the good lead over Daniel Winton. Second place, Richard Laird and Mark Taylor scrapping it out to third and fourth places. As Martin Williams continues to dominate this heat on the side of the solo. But Daniel Winton there in second place. Richard Laird in third, Mark Taylor in four, Wayne Ford is five, Tim Kermont six, Ellis Thomas in seven, David Hammond in eight. Here's the three nine, that's the nine. There's Martin Williams just to the great lead with Mark Lear from Daniel Winton, second which you like. Trying to close the gap in third place over second place man, Daniel Winton. They're on to the last lap this time. Williams is well clear, and Winton's second. Knight in third, still Taylor in four. Lord is five, Thomas in six, turn up seven. Visit in eight. Hammer nine. And uh, so Martin Williams, the race leader, in amongst the back markers now. They come on to start lap four this time then. Martin Williams, the clear leader then, from the Daniel Winton second, Richard Knight start, they get a bit closer. Mark Taylor finished in fourth, Wayne Borders in five, Thomas in six, Kernock in seven. Visit is in eight, and Hammond in ninth place. He was out in a race number 27, the win for 125, Martin Williams. Second number 12, Daniel Winterton. And third, number 72, Richard Knight. 170. 158. 186. 726. 139. 120. 555. Away we go to the next suit, race number 28. The heat of the 500 solos of uh, John Jefford leading in that top corner. Darren Pugh trying to find a way to army inside. David Radley holds his third place position. They come to complete the opener. There together they come by. It's the first time. Jefford leads the score second. Radley in third. There is a score. in five. Melksham in six. That's the top six. They're on the back straight once again. John Jefford leads it. Then Darren Pugh trying to close the gap in second place. David Radley consolidating that third place position. Rob Melksham working his way for people going right down on that top corner. Rider down on the top corner on the previous lap, so that one obviously stopped in the interest of safety. We shall have a restart of race number 28. Back in the line for this restart, just waiting for John Jeffers to move into line over on that far side. John Jeffers, the last of seven, not, not been the best of starts as Darren Pugh leads the back straight the first time. David Radley in second, John Jeffers is in third. That's the top three, they race into that top corner for the first time. And Darren Pugh takes the wide line, David Radley trying to come through on the inside. So Pugh leads the Radley in second, Jeffers in third, Paul Derrick is in fourth. That's the top four, they go the back straight once again, they're bunching up to the top three places. Still Pugh leads it, Jeffers is taking closer order on David. Radley as they move into that top corner on lap number two. Pugh still leads it from Radley in second. Jeffers takes the wide line in third place as Pugh leads it from Radley in second. Jeffers is in third. Derek is in third. 46 in fifth. Number 606. Then John Clinton. Then number 91. Rob Nelson. And looks at David Radley's drop to Will hold in that second place on that pitch corner. It's Pugh leads it though from Jeffers in second place. Paul Derek is now up to third. The 46 John Weeks in third place and down to just a leader on the court and John Jeffers closing with every turn of the wheel he's taking the tight line down to again right round the outside John Jeffers comes to the rim for John Jeffers gets the rim to down to down to trying to get back round the outside they race into that top corner for the final time John Jeffers goes right down to cuts back to the inside and race to the line it's just John Jeffers there from down to in second place Paul Derrick comes to the pick up the third place this is John Weeks has got the four with 606 Andy Carver in five then number 91 Rod Melkson then John Cookson and finally it's number seven Barry Woodruff there's a win for number 14 John Jeffries second 711 Darren Pugh and third 117 Paul Derrick 46 91 606 421 and number 7 winning time 1 minute 16 exactly 1 minute 16 exactly
So race 29 coming into line, another heat of the 500 solos. Andrew Oliver, auto electricians are the sponsors for race 29. Another cracking lineup. And uh, Paul Cooper's can he get the bike going this time? It's, it's Tim Nose, the lead going on the back straight the first time. Paul Cooper's on his shoulder into that top corner. Two of the exciting youngs of British crash back at the moment. And Tim Nose takes Paul Cooper really well. And Tim Nose leads it. Dave Durham and third number eight Vince Kinchin 130 39 and 24 1 minute 14.79 1 minute 14.79 the winning time